up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with another Skibbity Toilet Analysis video. Because as you know, Defoot Boom dropped Skibbity 66 today, and ISO Toilet just dropped TD Men Are Friends, episode 66. 66 analysis and theory beyond hype to see what iso toilet has to say we already checked out elite cameramans and iso toilet always picks up these really good things these small details i miss but before we jump into this can you show iso toilet some love by subscribing to their channel and if you join my reaction please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button it's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel but enough talking let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro hot sauce beats is finally here hot sauce beats is finally Go. I'm pretty sure I got an eyelash in my eye. Hey, everybody. The what new up, 66 episode of Skibidi Toilet is finally out. And oh my God, it's an incredible episode. OMG, yes, it was. Yes, we waited for it for a very long time, but it was worth it. <laughs> we Yahoo all did. Longest wait yet. The final battle begins. So worth it, though. And apparently the entire 22nd season will be about the final battle between the Skibidi Toilet. Please, please, please don't let this be the final battle. Please, we're not ready for this to end. Toilets and the Alliance. We no. saw the Skibidi base, the TV men's base, Cinema Man, and all the top Alliance agents. I found so many secrets and Easter eggs, and in this video, I will show you all of them. Get your tea and snacks ready. This is going to be incredible. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's get started with everything in order. Remember in episode 64, the squad split up, the Titans went after G-Man, and the rest of the squad flew on towards the Skibidi base. I've already mentioned that the base is apparently somewhere in Africa. So now we see yeah, that the Alliance squad the has base found battle. the Skibidi base and is trying to capture it. And you can see, I don't know if he's going to talk about it, but all those toilets, right? Almost like toilet statues. This is definitely the Skibidi base. That the defenses here are very strong. There are hangars, Skibidi military, and even square toilets. Yeah. I don't know what they're for. It looks either. like military towers or something. Notice how heavily armed the cameramen are. These big guys have grenade launchers, hypno guns, machine guns. All by the, the things. Way, Everything except the Hypno Gun is a weapon from Half-Life 2. There's even the Toilet Mobile from Episode 20. See, this is why I love uh, ISO Toilet. Catches stuff like this that no one else does, and I wouldn't know if I didn't watch this, you know? Five, we finally got to see it again. Like I said, these rocket launchers are useless. This guy here thinks so too and throws them away after firing <laughs> right, a shot. How about this one combat camera helicopter? I thought now that we know what the helicopter was super cool. So long. By the way, POV cameraman was just sitting there watching the others the whole time even though he could have been helping them shoot back. Notice that the gunshot looks more realistic than in previous episodes. The quality oh, of the wow, show yeah. really does increase every time. We see a work. cargo helicopter and another one for the engineers. It looks like the Alliance has decided to put all their forces into this attack. The POV pulls out a tablet and sees a message from G-Man and Skibidi the scientist. It seems they took the phone away from Titan and decided to take selfies and prank the agents. Let's deal with the details in this picture. First off, the Titans are lying in front skibbity, of the Skibidi, skibbity, skibbity, skibbity. which means no one took them to the base to repair. Skibidi just grabbed them. The G-Man is unharmed, but he also has weak guns. Many of you said that the I real G-Man had cool lasers mm, in episode 57. I think that picture's gotta be fake, but right? But that theory fails. It seems to be just a clone from episode 38 that was given two more weak lasers. Apparently, G-Man has a or lot of a clones, and the Alliance is expecting to meet a mob of... Just dude, if that picture's real... If both Titans... Dude, that's something I didn't even think about until now. What if that picture is legit real? What if the Skibbities have both Titans, Titan Speaker Man and uh, Titan Cameraman, and that's why, like, this episode was so big with the end, which is potentially uh, Titan TV Man... I didn't even think about if that picture was real. I just, just also cameraman has the number 10, propaganda. 56, and I still haven't been able to decode that. If you add up 10 and 56, you get 66, which is this episode. The only thing I True. noticed in both episode 10 and 56 was cameraman wearing a brown coat. Maybe in episode 10, he just had a different tie. Who knows? If you figure out what that means, post it in the comments. Now take note of the Titan cameraman's core. It's sparking like he's infected. Oh my God. If this guy will fight on the side of the Skibidi toilets, the Alliance will have a big problem in the final battle. That's the He's truth. also got some sort of defense against TV men on his camera. So apparently the Skibidi have realized who they're about to meet. 
Apparently, all the agents got the same message and realized there's nothing left to lose. It's now or never. They drop their weapons and run to fight the CBD <laughs> toilets. I've never seen anything like that in the show. Dude, they went the rampage morale of the squad mode. is off the charts. By the way, why this Skibidi has two glowing things above his eyes, I didn't understand. I think they didn't seem to be uh, there before. Camera but, woman. Okay. In this episode, we got to see all the main characters of the Skibidi toilet universe. So cool. This speaker man right here is the guy in the gray suit who helped us in episode 24. POV cameraman avenging Titan and giving Skibidi a smacky slaps. And there's their secret this agent. I'll, I'll admit, I missed that part too, dude. I missed that part. I didn't realize that was secret agent. This guy doesn't seem to be rushing into the fight. I think it's Defook. I think you're Who right. else can calmly stand there and hold out a knife to one yeah, of his creatures? A knife. Yeah, it looked pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. Now we know that after the Skibidi are destroyed, their eyes turn white. Did we see a live zombie here or what? Man, this looks really weird. The cameramen have never been so brave. I'm really proud of them now. And no, I think I'm getting excited a little early. The POV cameraman saw the big Skibidi soldier and stood up in fear. I don't know what he's afraid of. After all, the rocket launchers are already discharged. This trooper is no longer a threat. Maybe the sound of that little circular saw scared him. Ooh. And what happened here? Oh my God, I've been waiting four episodes for this. <laughs> Speaker Woman is back. And apparently along with Black Speakerman, they decided to open- I like calling him Double Dagger Dark Speakerman. Double Dagger Dark Speakerman. In their own barbershop. <laughs> yes, yeah, give him a haircut! I think Skibidi's really happy with that service. All right, so apparently good. Speakerman got a little tired and decided to walk. Skibidi style. And here's my favorite useless Skibidi helicopter. He really had a chance to destroy the POV, but we still have two minutes of the episode. Come on. Well, the camera woman Stop gets involved. She me. shoots and manages to give us a <laughs> thumbs up. Geez, she a looks pretty TV good too. woman was coming next uh -huh. after this. What am I talking about? This Speakerman believed in himself too much and got some balls from Skibidi Spider. He survived. So yeah, I think uh, we're gonna try everything in our power to drop Simpin' for a TV Woman tomorrow. The song is just, I, I haven't really had time to finish it, but I'm gonna try my hardest to get it out for you guys tomorrow. So if you got that notification bell, turn on, you'll get notified when it drops. I've done unharmed, by the way. Apparently he's made of titanium or something. Titanium I was even a little Speaker worried Man. when this spider pointed his ding dong at us, but apparently pause, having the infected pause. Skibidi helicopter flying at him at full speed was more interesting, and they happily rushed over to hug each other. And oh yeah, we finally got to see TV Woman again. Uh -huh. oh, I mean her for ability, TV woman. the parasite that infects Skibidi, and that toilet looks a little creepy. Why is it here? Maybe they're gonna make a new Skibidi, or maybe it's just a statue that greets all the guests. Lucky my restroom doesn't look like that. And we finally see the trio of ladies. I'm so satisfied. And it's not even episode 69. By the way, there's a screen here, which means there's about to be some sort of Easter egg on it. That's how it's always worked on this show. show. Well, this is the second Ding Dong being directed at us in this episode. <laughs> Too Thanks many to Plungerman, he saved us from the Skibidi Strider as well, ripping off his cannons and breaking his robotic legs. Speaker Woman, on the other hand, apparently isn't interested in Plunger. She's eyeballing the black Speakerman. And look how he lands after jumping out of the toilet. Damn! Plunger Damn, Man is one of my favorite characters in this universe. Hands He's a true down, legend. Facts. But TV Woman OG apparently legend. doesn't think so. But look she's at the way like, Camera Woman looks at him. I think she's got a crush on him. I think that's why she acts all serious, like, Psh. The guys decided to repeat the legendary moment again, just like the Titans. Yeah, that was Arnold. Oh, stop that! Pause. Looks like the Skibidi base is captured. Pause. Mission accomplished. Time to go inside. But the army of Skibidi toilets from episode 65 has just returned from their mission. And instead of joyful shouts of Skibidi, 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 they saw destroyed toilets and a crowd of agents at the entrance. Everyone's By the like, way, right, peace somewhere out. out there in the smoke, we see a Skibidi scientist. TV woman hugged the other women, and I think this is the best trio in the history of this show. Facts. TV man seems to have been watching the whole situation and immediately came to the rescue. This TV man apparently realized what stupid things plunger men could do, so he told him like, to get out. You need to get out of here. I really like how Idiot. all the Alliance members work together and help each other. And I think I was suspicious of the TV men for nothing. They seem like really good guys. Facts. As I was saying, Dafuk's face appears on the screen once again. Oh, Big TV yeah, man teleported point. the container straight to Skibidi's face to use it to save all the agents. And I don't know if he's gonna talk about it here either, but 
uh, on the screen in the beginning when the the cameramen uh, see that the like Titans are destroyed or whatever. For a split second, you can see the outline of DeFuke's face on there, too. I think they all realize that without the Titans, no one can beat the scientist and G-Man. There was only one big cameraman left, but he was intercepted by the mutant from episode 62. You know why he cut off his camera? Because the body could be used to make another Skibidi mutant. Right. When Big TV Man blinded him, the mutant pulled his glasses out of his back pocket to block out the light. TV Man, on the other hand, didn't seem to like this guy and had some bad things to say about him. Whoa! The doors closed and the big guy Sheesh! teleported the container to TV Man's base Bruh! and said, <laughs> like, Screw you. We see a lot of TV men around us. One big guy is looking at us right from behind the wall. Apparently, even the main agents weren't at this base, but Plungerman was still flying on a toilet somewhere in Africa. <laughs> One of the TV guys is looking from above. Turns out there's a lot more of them than I thought. We're approached by TV man scientist, AKA Simpy Boy. Simpy yeah, Boy? I'm not lying. He's got a picture of a TV woman with his name tag. <laughs> at first it. I thought it was- I think that's just like a, a badge for the place. Just some random TV. But my Discord subscriber told me it was TV woman. Note the switch. So our I brown cameraman has some serious competitor, by the way, we still haven't <laughs> seen our original simp. Because TV he's doing his boy tells us this. And I really don't know if he means the base or the drawing on his chest. And how does he want to <laughs> keep that secret? Destroy everyone who comes here so no one finds out. Yeah, he's a little weird, but at least- I think he's saying this because he's about to show us the fact that Titan TV man's there and being repaired. I think that's the confidential. Because everyone else in the Skibbity universe thinks Titan TV Man's dead. These guys have a scientist, which means there's someone there to improve Cinema Man. He decided to take a quick look at us, by the way. Yes, we don't see the new improvements, but we'll definitely see them in episode 67 or 68. For sure, fingers crossed. He says this crossed. at the end. And that's when I started to get oh, a little said worried. something else. What if the TV men are helping the Alliance in the war against the Skibidi, but when they win, they want to do something terrible with the world? Uh, in I any don't case, know. the G men and the scientists together. are ready to fight. Cinema Man is on his way, and we're clearly looking forward to something even more incredible than this episode. Let's By go, the baby. way, my Instagram followers learn the secrets faster than the video comes out. And on Discord, we sometimes talk with you guys. Be sure to watch these videos. I hope you subscribed to the channel, liked and wrote in the comments which woman from this trio you liked the most. And that was me, Isa Toilet. See ya. Peace out. Let's go. Peace out, Iso. Iso, bruh. Ah. And see, this, like I said, this is why I love reacting to Elite Cameraman Ice and Iso Toilet, because we get stuff. Elite cameraman pointed out stuff Iso Toilet didn't, and Iso Toilet pointed out stuff that Elite cameraman didn't. Um, and I really do believe that that is Titan TV man there. <clears throat> and I believe that Keep This Confidential is the fact that, hey, here's Titan TV man, he's okay. And he's either A, finishing up getting repaired, or he's ready to rock. <clears throat> but again, something else that I never thought of until this video was if that picture that they got on their tablet was actual real and that the Skibbities got Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man, because I didn't even think that was a possibility, but could be, could be not. Let me know what you guys think. Ice and Toilet, amazing video. Make sure you show them some love by subscribing to their channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, please chat, smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Again, I'm gonna try my hardest to get Simpin' for a TV woman out tomorrow, debut, original Skibby Toilet song. Hope to see you guys at the premiere. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, be kind of one another. That's all I got. Boom. I'm out. Got him below. Food sauce king. Peace out, yo.